Hey, what's going on guys? Running back another video. Uh this is going to be a review on the Lego Simpsons house. And um you guys might see a little bit of a mess around and I'm sorry about that. We are cleaning the basement right now, so everything's everywhere. And also we're having construction upstairs, so some stuff that was upstairs, actually a lot of stuff that was upstairs had to come down here. Uh this is my new desk that I'm on right now. Uh there's probably going to be a lot of videos coming up on this uh such as Funko Pop reviews on the desk, uh, you know, things like that. I do have my computer here, which I play Minecraft on, like, all day. So, you know, so, I'll talk to you guys while I do this. I'm just going to be moving the uh, mouse and mouse pad and the computer out of the way. But, um, yeah, so I do have a lot of Lego sets. I figured I'd just get a couple Lego reviews out there. Because, you know, ow, even though uh, <laughs> I do have other parts of the haul up uh, that I have not yet to get out on the channel, uh, I don't need that. But, um, they are coming, I promise you that, I promise, you know, so don't think, oh, you know, I, I forgot about them, you're never going to see them. For those of you that do care, trust me, you will see them. They'll be out eventually. But uh, as of right now, no, not this very second. Soon they will be, though, so just move that wire over. And now I will bring the Simpsons house over. Some things are probably going to fall in the process of me moving this over, but whatever, I'm going to have to deal with that. Also, I am getting a new desk lamp. This one I actually just had. I took the lampshade off of it. <laughs> And I just have it there, so actually it was better where I put it last. Yeah, so I'll just keep that right there. Push that back. And, uh, so there we go. Uh, I'll start off with the smaller pieces first. Uh, we'll take a look at the minifigures first. So, first one here we have is Homer Simpson. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this one though, because you have him with the business attire. Um, they did do a good job, though. Uh, this was a newer thing back in 2014 when this had come out with the new molded plastic. Uh, like in the face there, going from the white into the yellow, white into the black into the yellow, or the brown into the yellow, or yellow to white. You know, it was all new, so they made, like, shorts, stuff like that. Back of the minifigure doesn't have any print except on the back of the head. And they did make new heads for these figures. Uh... Now, get into the, uh, Lisa, yeah, she's, um, she's okay, I don't really like the facial expression on this one, sorry, my camera's weird, I actually messed my phone up, like, really bad, <laughs> um, yeah, so her facial expression is a little bit weird. And she does come with this, uh, actually I should show you the back printing first. Yeah, she has the rest of her necklace continuing. And sorry, like I said, the lighting's bad, so the focus is going to be a little weird. Uh, I don't have any other light I could plug in as of right now. But, uh, yeah, we'll put her over there. And then there's a paper that says A plus Lisa and then a whole bunch of scribbles. Um, now you have Maggie, which is the baby... Kind of like the same head as Lisa, um, bow tie painted, uh, printed on there, the pacifier in there, new body mold for her, well it's not new anymore, but it was new, nothing really to say about her, then you have Marge, over here, I'll take all this stuff out and show this later, but you have Marge, she has the really long hairpiece, and that's actually why on the car there's an open roof, so you can fit her in, but you can't really put her in because of the skirt, you have to take that off, and that's just a pain, so I just recommend leaving her out, there's the back printing, uh, nothing elsewhere, so I'll move her off to the side, and then... You have, hang on one second, I'm just getting him, 
out of the pose I had him in. And you have Bart right here. He's pretty cool. He's probably my favorite character. He's just basic, plain, nothing really about him. They didn't give him a slingshot, though. I'm a little bit disappointed about that. Uh, I know that in the minifig series, they did give him the slingshot, and this is a skateboard, and this is actually a sticker right here, and that kind of bothers me because it's very hard to get that one on perfectly. And for this set, you do get one more minifigure, and that is Ned Flanders. Um, I do like that they gave you, you know, this, because it kind of goes with the one thing that's in here, but I feel like they should have just given you a regular Ned Flanders and did something else to him. I'm not a big fan on the Hail to the Chef thing, but, you know, whatever. You can see the continuation of the apron on his back. Ugh, stupid camera, I'm sorry about this. But, yeah, I'll have to move out a little bit. His big glasses. <laughs> he has a mustache. There's a, I don't know if that's, no, it's supposed to be there. Yeah, and then he's got a spatula, which is from the Friends line. And moving on to the other small stuff. I'm actually going to work my way from large to small. So, you have Bart's skateboard ramp, which has a sticker on it saying El Barto, which is pretty cool. I do like the build of it. It's pretty nice. So, you could take Bart, put it on a skateboard, have him ride up it, go back down, yay, whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's about it for this. Then you have the grill. And there are quite a few things in the set that do have a sticker saying property of Ned Flanders on it. And the point is that Homer stole them. I do have the hot dogs on each side because I didn't want them to get lost. It's really more for uh, tools. And also one thing I'm going to point out about this. If you push too hard on this, it'll just come right off the back. It's very uh, flimsy in that point. I might be doing a tutorial on how to make a uh, grill out of your own Lego pieces because it's really simple and it looks a lot better than this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I like the orange in there so it looks like the charcoal or, or whatever you're using. I prefer charcoal. Uh, then it comes with this, which there's no room for in the kitchen. Just gonna get this away. Friends thing. Uh, actually, we'll save that. Then you have a wheelbarrow, which has property in Ned Flanders. Two flower pots that go in it, which both of them don't fit. And then the shovel goes with it. This is supposed to be what Marge is doing. She's uh, planting. Then you get two beach chairs, lawn chairs, uh, that do hinge. They completely fold like this. Uh, but they are recommended to be kept out so that the slope hits the ground. And then you have yourself the mailbox with the very old printed mail that we've had forever. And personally, I don't want to update that. I really like that. Uh, that they're updating a lot of parts and at least you're keeping something the same. And you can move this up and down, which I do like. The mailbox is blue, like in the movie. I like that. Uh, the TV show. Sorry, I always watch the Simpsons movie. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> and then for your last little things, you get two of these cups. The uh, cups with the cherries in them. You get two of those. And now I'm going to show you the car. Which is probably, I know that it comes with this giant house. This is probably my favorite part. You get so many rare parts, because, you know, pink's not a common color for Lego. You get so many rare parts. Um, it looks so good. They even have the dent, like in the movie. I really like that. When you look at it from the front, it looks really good. From the side, it looks good as well. And I like that no matter which way you look at this car, it does look good. I look, I look at it from the back, it looks good. The side... Looks good. The top, it looks okay. I mean, th there's a way to make a roof for this. I don't have any pink uh, plates or tiles yet. I'm going to order them, and then I'll show you how to do that. I actually thought of it. It's very simple. But, um... Then you have the... Side that's smooth over here. The doors do open. They use the larger doors, which I like. 
you have the windshield in the back, which is longer and the well, larger than the one in the front. Uh, the minifigures are meant to just sit on those pegs. There is a back seat, but you can really only fit one person in the back seat uh, because they don't give you studs. Here, I'll just take Homer real quick. He does have a suitcase. I didn't mention that. Sorry. But, um, yeah, so you take him, put him like that, just sit him down, and shut the door. Uh, the front hood does not open, however, the back trunk does open, and it is actually hard to open this, because the way it shuts, it shuts on an angle, so you really have to get your finger in there. And then it comes with, um, the piece from Homer's sewage plant, which is pretty cool. That stays in the trunk. I like that. You can put the, um, I don't know what I'm getting stuck on. There we go. You can put the suitcase back there. I don't. Usually when he's in the car, I just put it right there, because with the sewage, Pete, with the, um, with Homer's sewage plant piece and then the trunk in there, it just doesn't shut right. So I just keep that there. So I'll put the car aside. Now, about this house, I'm actually going to have to move the camera up a bit. About this very large house, um, it does not open like a normal Lego house or maybe like a modular where the roof just comes off. The roof does come off, but it comes off in panels. So I'll actually just show you with the garage. They come off like that. So... You can see they have two bay windows right in the front, like in the movie, the two windows up here, uh, like in the show. <laughs> they have the door, like in the show, they made it rounded, obviously there are no rounded doors in Lego, so they had to modify that. So they didn't, it shows the easier way out, which personally I like, brick built. That's what I hate about Lego planes, it's just, you. it's not brick built, it's just everything pre-molded. But uh, you have that, which looks really nice. Garage door, you can't really see the color on here, but it is um, kind of like an orangey color. If you look at the box pictures, maybe I'll ring the box over at the end, um, you can kind of see what color it is. Uh, they do have the window up here, like on the show. Garage door does open, which I like. And I like it's not one of the, like how it's not one of the roll-up doors. So I'm going to try to rotate this, see how well that works out. Uh, on the air conditioner, it says property and then Flanders. I don't know if that's in the show. I'm gonna have to move this out. It has the bush over there, and then when you go to the back, it does have a back door. It has a couple windows, back door with a very small patio. I feel like they could have finished that out all the way to here, just uh, leveled it off, but they didn't, and that's fine. Uh, you have the antenna pole up there. So, I will put this back. So, I'm going to pause the video, and then I'll show you how to open this up. Okay, guys, so like I did mention earlier, this is not, uh, this does not open like any normal Lego house. So, what you're going to do, for starters, is uh, you're going to pop off your roof panel, put it to the side. Pop off your other roof panel, and then pop off your last roof panel. That's your starters. And once we open this, I'm probably going to have to pause the video again because the inside is a mess. Because I moved this like three times within the past day. <laughs> so then you're going to take off your garage panels. Just like that. And then you're actually going to disconnect the garage. And you have to be very careful when you actually disconnect it. Because if you just looked at what I did, yeah, you don't want to do that. So... This is actually the hardest part of getting this completely taken off because the garage does have uh, very fragile pieces in here, which I will show you in a little bit and stuff like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring it over to your side. And yes, this actually does come off. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I've opened this. And then you just fold it out just like that. I'll move the garage away for a second. So <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to pause the video. I'll start it up again once I put everything back to where it should be. Okay, guys, so that is what the house would look like opened up. I just fixed everything. There is still one thing that's out of place. It is a backpack, so it didn't really matter to me. 
But uh, next step, we're taking this thing apart just to get a better inside view of the living room, which definitely I want to do because I want to get more light in there, is taking this piece off right there. And then you're going to put that wherever you want to put that. <sighs> now you can look inside of your living room better. But for right now, I'm going to move the house out of the way, and we're going to look into the garage, which is, in my opinion, the part that we should start out with. So that's as far as I can move it. So when you look inside your garage, uh, first thing you can do is open up the door. Which, actually, you, know, you can kind of see the color a little bit better there, but not quite. I like how, I like the way that it slopes and goes into the peak, the top. So in there, uh, I should actually do this on the other side. <laughs> So in there you have a toolbox on a workbench, you have your vise, I think that's a vise, I think that's what it's supposed to be. You have a broom, and then you have your tool bench there. Now you have to be careful with this because your tools can easily fall out of this, and also this is all modular stuff. I'm not going to take it out because it's a pain to get back in, but I'll zoom in. So, yeah. That's basically everything. But, um, that's basically it for the garage. You can't fold out. Uh, they could have had this wall come off if they really wanted to, but I don't think that would have worked out because this is the wall that gets connected to the, uh, house itself. So I'll move this over here. I need to move my Funko Pop now. I'm probably going to scratch my computer, but I honestly don't care. It works, that's all I need. I'm sorry if that noise is kind of annoying you, it's annoying me, but I had to do this. So, uh, first thing I'm going to start off with is the first floor. I'm not even going to look at the second floor. Uh, we'll start off with the living room. This is the entry into the house right there. And then you have a uh, bay window over here with a piano and there's the seat kind of plain on that side there's really nothing over there until you get to the other side of the living room uh sorry there's like a beam let me see if i could take this off yeah there you go so you have some stairs leading up to the second floor telephone back there uh this i always keep over here because i just like it over there but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it out for you guys And yes, I think that just answered your question. The TV can come off. This stupid piece over here. I wish it would come out. There we go. I'll show you guys that in one second. Here is a little tiny vacuum. I used to make a whole bunch of these when I was younger. And then it finally became like an actual thing that like I would make. <laughs> it's very simple in design but very effective. I really like it. I usually keep it right under there just so it doesn't slide out everywhere. And then you have that disgusting carpet that is in the show with the telephone over there. That drawer does work. I'm just not going to do it right now. And then there is a nice couch. It's very decent sized. I believe it can fit all four of them. If not, then it can fit three. And then it does come with this little TV. Which is a nice build. Um, have to autofocus. There. That says the Itchy and Scratchy Show, which, if you don't know, that is a big major part of The Simpsons. So I'll just put that there. Now that we're done with the living room, we'll go into the kitchen. Which, uh, that's how it looks with the table in. And the chairs. There is another chair on this side. But I'm going to be taking all that stuff out. I will give you guys a close up on the chairs. And stuff. So just to get it over with. Here's a chair. Very simple in design. Very effective. Very nice. I uh, hate the color. But you know. It's Simpsons. So you have three plates. Two mugs. I think that there's another plate somewhere. That you just can't use. 
because it doesn't fit, I forget. But in there, you can see, uh, actually, you can't see anything. But, uh, nothing over here is modular, I don't think. No. But in there, I'll just tell you what's in here. You have two cabinets. One has a bowl. The other one, I think I put, like, uh, cupcake things in or something. Over here, you have a mixer. Just a regular counter with a pan. Now I'll move this over. Bring you over to the other side of the kitchen. Which, there is the back door. I have to autofocus. There's the back door. Uh, this is your stove right there. Very basic stove. Looks good. Uh, sink. Drawers with a cabinet. And sorry guys, it's not the camera that looks bad. It's just the lighting making the camera look bad. And it's really annoying. Uh, so now we'll move into the second floor, which I'll put the piece back on. So hang on one second. That piece is usually really annoying. Today it didn't give me any problems, luckily. So there we go. So on the second floor, you have your landing. Walk up. Um, and you're going to walk into, uh, who's that? Lisa's room right there. So, um... Yeah, that just happened. I'll open the door, you walk in. She has her... Uh... Thing. Um... The words escaping me, but whatever. Vanity, there we go. Um, that's the camera. I can't remember what episode she had a camera in, or if she ever had a camera in her room. She has her stool. And then on the other side of Lisa's uh, room... Which you're probably gonna see a whole bunch of stuff. Is her bed, her backpacks on the floor, two end tables, and a bookshelf. Cause she's big into books. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, I just put it there because that's what the instruction said. But I don't know what that is. And then I'll go into the main bedroom and then we'll say Bart's for last because his bedroom is probably the coolest one. But uh, over here is the bed, two end tables, basket. There is a window over there, which is actually getting blocked. I don't even think you can take this bed out. No, you can't. Well, you can, but you have to, like, disassemble it. And when you look from the front, you could see part of the bed, and it looks really bad. So, I mean, they could have done a little bit better with that. <laughs> then there's Maggie's crib. So if you want to take Maggie here and put her in, you can. So now I'll move it to Bartroom, and again to see Bartroom, you have to take the piece off over there because it's right behind Lisa's room. So we'll just do that. So inside Bartroom, starting with the door, you have a sign that says "Keep Out." Go in his room. Got a a drawer that's open on his desk, almost like mine right now. <laughs> You have his chair, which you can come out of that spot. His bed, right there. And then you do have a lamp, and there was a really cool thing that they did using the hot dog as the holder. I do like that. You have a lot of pictures in the hallway over there of Maggie, uh, Homer's father, and then you have one in Bart's room of Krusty the Clown. You do have a radio over there, I believe that is, and some type of thing on the shelf. And a copy of uh, Radioactive Man. Sorry. I don't watch this show too much. I'm more of a family guy person. So then, just going to line it up and put that back on. Wow, again, two times in a row I haven't had problems with it. So, that's everything. Um, I'll close everything up, put it how I have it on display on my desk, and we'll end the video there. One more thing, guys. I actually forgot about this room, and the worst part is it's my favorite room, and it's so small, so I just missed it. There's the bathroom. You can see the sink. Uh, that's the tub, sorry. You have a sink over here. You got the toilet, toilet paper. Uh, there's a shower head. I actually have to adjust that. 
Yeah, but I think that this is like the coolest room in the house. I really like this one. And the worst part, and I forgot it. And the, like I said, the worst part is it's my favorite room. And that's actually like right, the, right in the hallway. You just walk straight and there's the bathroom next to it. You know, the other rooms. And I also forgot the Jazz Fest poster in Lisa's room. But anyway, I'll pause it and then I'll completely shut it and show you how, it, how I have it on display. Okay, guys, so that's how I have it displayed, uh, just like that, and I did put the house back together. I was going to bring in the box, but it's just too big to fit on camera. I believe it's the third largest Lego box I have. The first is the Ultimate Collector Series Death Star, and the second is the 2008 release Death Star. They're coming out with a new 2016 one, can't wait to get that, and uh, anyway, about the set, tell me what you guys thought of the set. Remember to like, favorite, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.